before I start this video, of course today is two anniversaries. The one is the anniversary when Sora came to Smash, and the other is Friday Night Funkin'. Beep. Thank you. Other than that, on to the video. <laughs> With the exception of Mario's having his design leaked online, and everyone saying it's not bad, they actually grow into it and like it, I can already sense in the future that there's gonna be a movie Mario and a movie Sonic meeting each other, and hopefully a Smash Bros. film in the future. But since we're getting the Mario movie trailer tomorrow, I thought it would be a perfect time to talk about the movie that started it all one last time. Now, of course, I talked about this movie before, but I want to talk w about it one last time before it's forgotten permanently and all said and done. So, before Sonic the Hedgehog, Detective Pikachu, and Uncharted entertained us in movie theaters... Oh, crap! Oh, you, Avery Am. We're going to take a trip back to the 1990s, where Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, Pokemon, and their sequels kicked ass at the time. There was one movie that really caught my interest, but even as for today, it's pretty dated. But back then, I actually loved it, but yet still today, I'll admit it's pretty terrible. That movie being the Super Mario Bros. movie, aka the original 1993 version. Alright, before I get to the terrible stuff, I want to get to some of the parts I actually like about the film. For one, I'm alright with Bob Hopkins acting as Mario. I mean, playing as Mario, sorry about that. To be honest, I think they were going for a more cartoonish Mario design, like you know how in the Super Show, Mario Bros. 3 and Mario World. So I'm assuming the directors or like the movie was aiming for that part. So Bob was perfect. As for Luigi, I sure why but this is is it just me but the one thing that really bothers me about this luigi is they didn't give him a mustache and they made him a little bit of a teenager i mean to be fair luigi is mario's younger brother and of course they would do that but hey luigi isn't that bad but at least he was good i like bob's act bob's character better as for the rest of the cast they were pretty decent daisy was a Weird choice rather than Peach, but I'll let that pass. Also, they got a human to play as Bowser. Who's the actor again? Let me look him up. Dennis Hopper. Alright. I didn't know you were in that film as well. Of course, during the film we got Yoshi and Toad. Yoshi's design wasn't really that bad, at least it was almost, well, I would say a tiny bit faithful, but the one thing they did with Toad absolutely makes no sense. So basically, what they did with Toad is make him a musical dude, and then transform him into a Goomba. Just like that. Also, I don't know why, but the Goombas look like giant pinheads. Who you call a pinhead? Well, on the bright side, at least the bob was accurate, like very accurate. They made the bob Oscar accurate, so give the bob an Oscar. The final parts I like about the film is some of the references. Like, for example, during the final battle of the movie, we get to see Bowser finally transform into a giant mutant lizard. And we see him in this pot scene, almost referencing the Super Mario World final battle, which looks absolutely pretty stunning. Alright, what about some of the cons and the bad stuff about it? I don't remember any bad stuff, but I will tell you some dark moments about it and some bad stuff that I can remember. So here goes nothing. I know what you're thinking for the dark moments. M64, isn't the movie for a kid show? Well, the movie is PG-13, but as a reminder, back then, those types of movies were allowed to curse and do other swag. <laughs> Holy shit! Well, I don't remember the movie that much. I don't remember the Mario movie having blood, but I do remember it having some skeleton deaths. Yeah, I know. It was pretty creepy back then. But the main cons about the movie is some of it had some, quote, terrible acting, some of the elements in the film weren't accurate to the video game, and the movie itself seemed like an alternate universe that's actually not actually connected with the Mario games. I think the way they were trying to go for it was to give it Mario a more realistic, grounded approach. Like what would Mario's stuff would look like in the real world. But unfortunately that didn't work and of course the movie itself flopped. 
However, by the end of the day, the movie still sucks and will always suck, but us old school fans will always love it deep in our souls. And we'll probably see how the new Mario movie goes. Hopefully, like it said, it will be better than the live action one. Other than that, hope you guys liked this video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video, so peace out. Very baby. Bye-bye.